And we'll start up the new recording. And this time we'll do the proper break shift. So I'm like pretty excited for Columbus for the tournament or whatever, but um, there's this like great hot pot and sushi spot there that we went to last time, and I'm definitely gonna get my friends to go there again because that place was fantastic. Ah, uh, this sounds good. We just need to pay off, but we got steady stream of uh, ramp spells. We just need a good payoff. Even if not, we can still do it. But. Inquisition, we don't care what they take. We'll go Valakut and pass it over. expense of this card is. Alright, let's shock ourselves. And run out for seek. Grabbing a cinder glade will pass it over. That's a great way to break the parity. Yeah. We'll drop the windswept. Cast our search. Get a mountain. Run out to girl. And we'll pass it over. Discard the stomping ground since we have two mutt ones already in play. We get a payoff, we're still in a great spot. Any payoff. Sure. Why not? So I'm not going to crack it because we will have six mana if we need to and we'll have uh, escape shift mana if we need it as well. So I don't think there's too much value in cracking the Sukura. Cool. This, yes, uh, two Valakuts, 
two battle cuts, crack Sakura, get three triggers, take out the Liliana. <sighs> Just get a Valakut and a Mountain to still kill Liliana. I think that's where we want to be. Valakut and a Mountain. No. Kill Lily. Alright, we'll pass it over. this we'll get a moment and we'll just take out round six So, it's not a ton I want to bring in here. I don't really care for the angers, though. Um, I guess I'm going to bring in the bail off just in case it is their only target, I suppose. So, let's do that. It's always fun to discard that to Lily. This is a pretty good hand. Okay, we lose this curve, but that's not that big of a deal. Sakura as well. That way we slow on our ramp completely. I feel like that's the correct line. They're not like very little cards though, so. Take the acid moss. Interesting. Interesting. Now they're gonna let us play Bail off next turn, though. I don't know if I. I mean, maybe they just don't have the lands. Sure, they hit nothing. Grab a mountain, turn our ability to go get Cinderglade on. And we'll drop a bail off. Yeah, yeah, gain that for life.
Hmm, another hour of promise. Okay. Well, let's beat them up first. Pay the life. Our promise. Go get two Valakuts and pass it over. Oh no, they just they hit the bail off? That's interesting. Don't know if that was correct. Sure. Go to the other valley though? That's fine. We'll grab a mount I mean a mount of forest. And we'll just cast this summoner's pact. Maybe we should have got uh Woodfall Primus just so we can through the breach it. <laughs> Yes. Mm, oh, we had another land. This is good, though. We'll ship the through the breach here. Want to make sure we have our land drops. Prismatic Vista. All the balls. Oh, you just get another one. Too bad our land sequencing won't let us actually put it in play. We rip the land off the top. This should be Urza Tron, right? Or the Urza deck? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, there's the land. One. Maybe it was better just to play the land and pass, and then that way we can through the breach at the end of their turn. Play the Valakut, then swing. I don't know. Then we are opening ourselves up to counters, but then... Uh, there's the Urza land. I mean the Urza. Mm -hmm. 
got five mana if they want it. So there's just a few dead draws in the deck. And that's not one of them. Alright, so we want to bring in the Surgicals. We want to bring in the Rebraids. The Ancient Grudge. The Rex Sage. Do we want the Chalices for this matchup? Um, I'm trying it out. I'm trying to see if it's good. I played it last night and went 4-1 with it, so I felt pretty good about that. And I played it against again this morning. Not uh, Neither of these were on the stream, but uh, I went 3-2 with it, so it doesn't feel bad at all. Let's get rid of the Angers here. One Prismatic. I think I'm good with cutting the Hours and one Breach. Yeah, I thought, uh, I'm curious if we should be bringing in the Chalice. Um, I think it's worthwhile, maybe if we're on the play, uh, but being on the draw, I'm afraid of it just not being relevant enough. This hand's a little slower, but I think we can deal with this. If we draw any other ramp spells, we sweep. I just like Chalice a lot right now in general. Like... I feel like I should be playing Etron since I like Shadow so much right now, but I don't know. It just didn't feel great when I was playing it the, the last couple times I queued it. Thoughtseize is kind of backbreaking. There goes our search. Need to draw some ramp spells. Yeah, we'll probably trim some stuff and bring it in here. Slow and steady, right? <laughs> they are just down to two cards, three cards, four cards. Four cards right now. This is like the number one played card in um, Popper, right? That's kind of crazy. Like every single deck in Popper has this right now. Luckily, it doesn't look like they're doing much either for our benefits. Mm, we're not doing anything. All right. Oh, it's just interesting that it's like in every single deck. Just makes you wonder if it's like too strong. Um. I think we're just going to play the mountain and pass. I'm going to breach at the end of their turn. They're going to whir for three. They could go get... What if they get on three? They just get their combo, right? One part of it? What do they get in Snaring Bridge? Well, I'll just let them go. Yeah, in Snaring Bridge. You were right. So that's fine. We'll just run out the Primeval Titan and play a land and start shooting them. All 
Alright, that's a bummer. Witch Bane Orb. So we're gonna have to get some of our artifact. Our, uh. Our artifact destruction spells quick. If they didn't have the Witch Bane Orb, we would have breached in the Titan, but now we're just sitting here, so. Okay, that's a good call. I should have done that last turn, so they wouldn't be doing this to us. But they do still have the Astrolabe to get any color they need, so... Alright, so they've got their combo assembled as soon as they can... Whenever they feel like it. There's Pact. Um, so let's see, we can Pact, we can go get Woodfall Primus, blow up Ensnaring Bridge, yeah. Just blow up the Witch Bane Orb, right? Actually. And then that way we can just start shooting them. So I don't think they can get enough life, right? We just go land. Nine you. And then we're going to Acid Moss and Nine them again. Feeling good, starting off 4-0, 2-0, Yeah, we had a couple different options there, whether or not we want to... Like, we could have hit the Ensnaring Bridge to attack. But then we wouldn't have been able... We would have lost all of our, um, our triggers, but maybe that would have been the better... I don't know. I don't know if I like that, because they, they get another turn if we go that line. Another payoff spell, but we get anger, we got a ramp spell. We're doing good stuff over here.
That's unfortunate. Yeah, it works out, I guess. Odds of these have a bolt ready to go to save that goy from the anger, right? Like, that's realistic. Or we just have this packed. And we're gonna go fetch ourselves up a, uh, a primey boy. Cut, vela cut, swing. And we can't kill them, but we could put them to one. Um, probably not. I guess we just do that, right? No, let's get rid of the goif, I guess, just in case. So next turn we're just gonna escape shift and finish it off anyway. We'll bring in the bail offs. This is an okay hand. It's got ramp. As long as we don't get Inquisition or oh nice, we did not. A turn two ramp, but we do have back to back acid moss, which is pretty dope. Liliana. Hmm. I 
guess we could discard one Acid Moss, right? Because we're going to go land, search, Acid Moss. Yeah, we'll lose one Acid Moss. I'd like to keep the Woodfall in case we can cast it. Because after the prime time, we'll be actually be able to cast it. And they should have a pretty hard time with that. Yeah, yeah, hand was definitely weak to hand eight. <laughs> nice. All right, so we'll go land acid moss away his raging ravine, and we'll put a stomping in play. All right, if they make us this card here, we'll pitch the search for tomorrow. Next turn, we'll drop the prime time. They let us untap. Interesting. If you're gonna run out of Fulminator, why would you not use it right away? All right, so if we go and get a Valakut and a stomping ground. They can blow up our stomping ground, so I'm just gonna go get two Valakuts, I think. Because otherwise we're just gonna lose our land anyway. Mm, maybe they don't know the sequencing properly and they'll mess it up. That's too much of a gamble, right? I guess if they do that, we get to keep our Valakut. Okay, so if they want to minus now, they can minus down, and they would lose their Liliana. Alright. If they want to do that, do we want to have the Woodfall? We have the mana to cast it. No, we won't. We're going to pitch the Woodfall because they could just fall Manator us, and I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get stuck with it in hand. Right? So we'll ditch the Woodfall. It goes pretty good. Uh, we went 4-1 with uh, Tron, and then we went 2-3, unfortunately. And by accidentally queuing up. And uh, right now we're playing uh, a league with Breach Shift. We're 2 0 4 currently. All right, they can bring that back. We lost that. We're okay with all of this. Uh, we're going to run out the Baylaw. We'll swing at Lily. No. Lily's irrelevant, right? They minus, we just sack the uh, Baylaw, so we're going to swing at them. And let's go get two Velikuts. Yeah, I'm going to go to SEG Columbus. Uh, got my team ready. We got, we're going to head out on Friday after work. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna see how well I do at the event. So, see if we can make another day two into some cash. Sweet. Yeah, that's what our team's there for. We're there just to check out our, uh, just to check out the modern portion, see how we do. Okay, they're gonna trophy us, which means we're gonna go get a mountain, and we'll send two triggers their way. the pact 
Go get a prime time and end their life. What are you going to be on, uh, Timmy? Forge is pretty interesting. Yeah, I am curious why uh, you like Forge over Frenzy right now. Um, or is it just a better card in general to you? Mm. I think we're fine with this hand. This hand is not great. It's kind of a slow. Ooh, we're against Neoform. Allosaurus. That's a Neoform. Oh, we're just probably dead. So, even if like don't do anything, like they still just have an eight-eight on turn two. So, we're just gonna move on there. I believe Link should be enabled in chat. Bring in the damping spheres, the chalices, those don't matter. Possibly bring in the surgicals here. Don't think the angers matter. The acid mosses don't either. Neither does the wood fall. We'll trim one through the breach. Actually, we'll keep the through the breach, we'll trim the hour. Yeah, even if they did fizzle, the problem is that uh, they're going to be swinging at us with an 8-8 um, and going to 28, and then uh, we're just, like, we're not in a position that's going to be keeping up with that because they'll be swinging at us for 8. Like, they're going to hit us for 24 by the time we have 4 mana. So I'd rather just not show them the information of what we're on, even though I don't think their game plan changes very much, obviously, but it, uh... No, like, they could have easily just stopped right there. Like... Uh, I guess unless they're bad, but they would have just like drawn, they could have just drawn that much and then just passed. Like they're definitely cool with just having an 8-8 eight, eight, uh, Gristle Brand in, in play and we have no way to uh, get rid of it. Yeah, if they're going off, there's no way they actually deck themselves unless they're winning. Because either Lab Maniac's in play or it's not, and they're going to draw their entire deck and the win that way. Um, the only time that it happens is if, if you're going to, like, res in response, kill the Lab Maniac to their going off. But otherwise, they wouldn't deck themselves. They'll, they'll, they'll just chill out with a Gristlebrand in play. Wow, they kept a No-Lander. Interesting. Alright, well, we're going to pass. There's the land for them. Two lands in a row, they're professionals. All right, there's the Allosaurus. This time, if they do go off, we can keep up because we are going to be dropping a prime time on our turn. So we'll see what they got going on, see if they kill us.
So much life. That's game. It should be game anyway, but... That's definitely their entire deck in hand now. Now it's down to variants. Depending on what cards they draw and what's at the bottom. Good fun magic right here, folks. Good fun magic. There's three mana. You got a mana morphos or a pentad prism or something. Get some blue. There's the mana morphos. And the lab man. And we're dead. Good fun magic. All right, let's see if we can end this League 4 one. Pretty sweet hand. We would like another land. Did we just play against Evans a bit ago? No. They took our best turn one play. All right, we'll pass it back. I'm about to get punished because I didn't grab a forest. Do they still play main board blood moon? I feel like they don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, one if they're feeling it, but most lists run zero, so. But we needed that breach opponent. We wanted to do stuff. All right, we need to either hit a ramp spell or a land here. All 
All right, we'll pass it over. Sure, you can bolt me. I don't care. Yeah, acid moss would have been real nice too. We're not gonna crack the wooded, cause Oh my gosh, we're gonna get ball lightning! <laughs> oh man! Woo! This is magic right now, folks. This is magic together right now. <laughs> oh Okay. Okay. Oh uh, no, if if we were to do it on our upkeep, it'd be past the beginning of the upkeep, so we wouldn't have to pay for it. But either way, we're good here. We hit what we needed. Get a cinder glade. Cast a breach. Put in the prime time. Uh, we got four mounts, so we'll grab two Valakuts. Okay, they can see you. Yeah, we wouldn't have we don't have to pay for the it, so let's bring in the anger, the anger, the chalices should be pretty good against them along with the bail offs. Let's trim that. I have a feeling they're gonna be ripping our hand apart, so I don't want through the breach. And I think I'm good with trimming two acid mosses. No, let's keep one acid moss and trim one prismatic. We possibly should be bringing in the abrade, but I'm going to hold off. Okay, this hand's pretty sweet. Turn one best spell we can do into turn two far seek into bail off into prime time. I'm in. Those are our best turn one play. Our opponent's so rude. It's using all these stops for, but uh, all right, they figured it out.
There is a ball of lightning. I kind of feel like just acid mossing them. This might not be the correct line here, because we should just be possibly just playing the bail off. But. Do they got another ball of lightning? <laughs> yes, they do! Oh my goodness. Alright, we don't have another land. Oh, I don't want to die to another ball of lightning, so I'm going to go bail off here. And I'll pass it over. Because, I mean, I, I guess technically we could block with the Sakura, go to one, but didn't seem great. Cool. Now if they want to bring back the ball lightning, we'll block the Arcanus. No, not the, uh, that's Arcanus, not a Thunderkin. Give me a land. Give me a land. That's just so rude. We're just going to pass, because we're in a pretty good spot. Don't want to die to just swing him for the bail off for no reason. The 4 damage does not seem worth it. There's the Thunderkin. They could bring back the Ball Lightning. They're going to Inquisition us and bring back Ball Lightning. Alright. Block the Arcanus, block the Thunderkin, take 6, go to 4. If they have a Bolt, we're still not dead. I think that's our best bet. <clears throat> this doesn't kill the Thunderkin, but we can kill the Thunderkin with our um, with our triggers. So this way, we don't take the trample any kind of trample damage to put us at our uh, put us at three. I'm not going to crack this Tribe Elder, because that way we get some triggers going on with our prime time as soon as we get it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, sweet. Malika. Nice. Okay, well that ended 4-1, so that didn't solve anything for me, because both uh, both of them went 4-1, possibly. So I am going to call it a night there, because I have to do some homework. And we got three leagues in, so thank you so much, everybody, for joining tonight. I'll be uploading those in just a bit. I will not be back next week. I'll be in SCG Columbus, so I'll be back in two weeks. Um, but I'll upload these videos. If I do find some time to get on this week... Um, I'll jump on, but most likely I won't be able to. I got a lot of work events after our normal work day, and then I've got the traveling to uh, Columbus on Friday. So thank you so much again for everybody, and have a great night.